Hello, this is the American Writer. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the three types of tooth pain relief methods that I have uh, used in the past. These are for people who have at one point or another experienced some tooth pain. Uh, one day I was sleeping in the hotel room. I laid there to be awakened with a pain in my mouth. Extremely in need of tooth pain relief. Not only that, but I had pain in my arms and fingers along with a one-sided headache. You know, the left side of my temple to be exact. Not sure what caused the pain and aches I was experiencing that morning. I went to Google to search for a remedy for tooth pain relief or some sort of gums treatment or anything related to pain in my mouth. Out of all the different remedies, I chose the ones with the ingredients I had within my immediate reach. Black pepper, salt, and cayenne pepper. What helped my aching arms and fingers? Well, I can't say I did much of anything for that. I just laid in bed after turning the heater on to 76 degrees. It got a little stuffy in the room, but seemed to put my aching bones at ease to some degree. No pun intended. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Alrighty, I'm back. A little technical error. But I'm back, okay? So, let's go for the cayenne pepper tooth remedy. How effective was it? For my mouth pain, I used a few things. First, I tried the cayenne pepper powder for tooth pain relief. I couldn't tell if the pain was my tooth, gums, or what. I just felt pain. I pulled out a napkin, poured about a half tablespoon of cayenne pepper onto it. I took my finger and wet it a little bit and rolled around the powder. And then I placed my finger in my mouth and applied the pepper to the areas in my mouth that was experiencing pain. I have to say the pain appeared to go away by the hotness of the pepper. But really what seemed to happen was the hotness of the kind pepper powder only seemed to mask the pain. It was more of a burning sensation that of a pepper. But uh could still slightly feel the pain I originally was feeling. Between the two, I preferred the burning sensation of the pepper over the pain I was originally feeling. In other words, when it wore off in less than an hour, I'm sorry, in other words, I could handle it. So, the cayenne pepper slightly helped reduce or mask the pain. When it wore off in less than an hour, I decided to try something else to help deal with this pain. I wasn't Going to continuously apply the kind every time it wore off. <laughs> yeah, what sense would that be? Right? Hold on. So, <laughs> I'm back. So, the next thing to try was the uh, black pepper and sea salt. I turned to this remedy they required both of these two ingredients. I poured these two in a Ziploc bag and shook it up to mix it. I wet my finger and applied the mixture in the same way I did the cayenne pepper. There was a slight burning sensation, not nearly as much as the kind, of course. It was comfortable enough to lay down and go to sleep. I was able to rest and when I woke a few hours later I felt very little pain at all. So this method was even more effective than the last to give him some level of gum and or tooth pain relief but the pain did come back just not as painful so then the last remedy I attempted uh, was the baking soda and sea salt uh, treatment okay so I did a google search again came across this that required these two ingredients I know jumping from one method to the next but I was in search for a, a, a relief, a remedy to uh, my, my pain, the pain that I was experiencing in my mouth. Uh, after all, the Aleve and Barrett drug hadn't worked weeks before, but by this time in the day, the store right next door, very convenient, was open, so I went to see if they had any baking soda, and, and they did. I bought a small box of baking soda for about 99 cents. I returned to my hotel room and poured some baking soda and sea salt into a zip. A Ziploc bag different from the uh, what was it, the, the black pepper and sea salt that I tried. 
I wanted to keep these two separate since they're two separate remedies. And I wanted to see which one was more effective. Was it the black powder and sea salt mixture? Or was it the baking soda and sea salt mixture? So with the baking soda and sea salt mixture, I put it in the bag, shook it up, and applied the same way I did the last two uh, methods. It had a slight cool sensation, but not cold. I noticed the pain started to reduce almost instantly, but it didn't last for longer than 10 minutes. This method I said, uh, I had read, said to leave it for 15 minutes and then rinse. Excuse me. Hold on. So, and then back. So, my mouth is currently, oh my goodness. Sorry about that, my glasses just kind of fell off there. My mouth is currently experiencing some level of pain, but not as much as before, though, so that's good. I think all methods are effective for uh, tooth and or gum pain relief for a certain amount of time before the pain comes back to make your day miserable. The one method out of the three above that uh, provided the longest amount of relief was the black pepper and sea salt mixture uh, uh, remedy, the, then the cayenne pepper. Um, method comes in second and lastly the bacon soda and sea salt mixture comes in last. For almost instant relief with a cooling effect, bacon soda and sea salt mixture is good. However, it's very short lived. So, you may, uh, you may find yourself needing to apply it more frequently than the other two methods. As far as my headache, when I totally eliminate the pain in my mouth, my headache will go away since they seem to be directly connected to the other. It feels, it really feels like my bones ache in my mouth, like along my jawline, and I can't seem to reach the pain. So I applied these three treatments to my gums and teeth, thinking the ingredients would reach my jaw bone. Nevertheless, there is no one size fits all, so these methods may or may not work for you, as that somewhat did for me. Just like there's no one pill that will cure headaches. <laughs> there are remedies. I tried that. I can't conclude cure my pain. But they did help. These three methods provided relief. Like most drugs provide relief for a set amount of time before you go taking, looking to take another pill. However, the major differences are these ingredients are not drugs. They cost less than drugs. It's something you are more than likely already have in your kitchen. You know what it is, and it's equally as effective as some, not all drugs, without all the other added ingredients of drugs, uh, we probably can't even pronounce. <laughs> uh, so, like you do with drugs to get stronger dose, you take more. So maybe I could try to take apply more of each method. If I do, then at least I wouldn't have to worry about side effects like that of drugs. Right? I've not ever heard of anyone overdosing on baking soda, black pepper, or cayenne pepper. <laughs> if the push comes to shove, you may need to seek medical treatment. These are just home remedies. See if they work for you. This is the American writer. Signing off.